Welcome to the wonderful world that is New Alaska. It's Alaska 2. The theme is literally just Christmas and I guess to Alaskan representation as well. One of the first big group builds we ever did was actually a Christmas village. Uh, I remember that I actually built a cabin in that version of the map and we had like a few little homes we had a big blocky christmas tree so i want to try like for my own nostalgic throwback to actually just like build my own little cottage the amount of trees that died for this house is in the thousands it's fine like look that's what that's part that's what alaska's all about okay we're just pillaging the place look at this beautiful world oh shit it's got oil Alaska. Give it a chimney. Uh, I mean, someone's built a chimney up here for Santa. I could just, like, kind of say, like, oh, yeah, that's totally part of my build. Uh, I think I'm quite happy with that. I don't think there's anything else I need to add. I like how this looks. For once on a build stream, I've actually contributed to the server. This is a very rare occasion. Oh, God, they've already done up the walkway to enter Alaska. That's actually so pretty. They have lights, like little bobble ornaments, and, like, a candy cane arch. Yeah, this is very much just Christmas. Like, Al uh, New Alaska is just the capital of it now. Santa coal mine! <laughs> oh no, I mean, he has to get coal for all the bad kids somehow. Santa, that's a lot of CO2 emissions you're just, like, p putting into the atmosphere. Like, you shouldn't be contributing to climate change like that. I think you're gonna be on the naughty list yourself. Santa is the list. Like, Santa is very menacing if you think about, like, his superpowers. Because if he ever turns against us and is no longer an ally to humanity, we're in a lot of trouble. Because he sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows where you live. He knows if you've been bad or good. And apparently he'll take divine retribution into his own hands if you're on the naughty list. Present Bach. P.S. Look at bottom for inside look. What did you expect? Happy Holidays. Oh, Merry Christmas. It's flesh. Flesh, just what I wanted, Santa. <laughs> oh, Santa, you shouldn't have. No, Santa, you shouldn't have. Ho, ho, ho. What's this here? Santa's nuclear warhead. Okay, I mean, I guess he is capable of producing anything with, like, the, the elves' workshop. Again, in the wrong hands, like, like a lot of Santa's assets could be the downfall of humanity. We gotta keep an eye on that guy. Are the elves not slave labor? Um... It's only slave right labor if they have human rights. And they're elves. So no. Go inside the present. Entrance this way. I'm Jewish. Happy Hanukkah. <laughs> Here's an ice factory. Ice factory plus Christmas stuffs. Not the ice you were probably thinking of. We promise. I was about to say, a different ice comes to mind when you first see that. I'm glad it's much more innocent than that. It's a whale! He's doing a jump! It's a humpback! I was looking at it like, I thought those were ears for a moment, but now I see it. Oh no, he's gonna jump into the land, that's... Willie's not gonna be doing too well. He's gonna be free of the ocean, but like, at what cost? This is cute, by the way. I love just the candy cane that's holding up this cozy little home. Granite, there are severed heads and a saw blade inside, but it's the thought that counts. Potential to be really cute is there. Oh, someone's made an advent calendar. Oh, that's fucking amazing. I can't wait to see what that's filled with. They've even got all the doors open to the exact day we're on, because it's the 22nd. It does look rather imposing on the landscape, just from the other side. <laughs> Here is the wall. Oh god, the gingerbread men. <laughs> My child. Oh, they look so menacing for some reason. No elf uprising inside, promise. <laughs> oh no. The tyrant is dead, you are free. But on, you know, on a much lighter note, like, when you just look past the blood, I really love what they did with this Christmas tree. Like, rebellion and slaughter aside, this corner of the house is very cute. Oh god! <laughs> I think this is supposed to be Bob Ross. Let us draw some happy little trees. Ironically, I had to chop down some trees to build this. Yeah, you know, like, Bob Ross l loved Alaska. That's why we just, like, demolished, like, a large section of forest to erect a shrine in his honor. Oh, it's a Christmas diglet. Merry Christmas, everyone. Christmas diglet, ice slash ground type. Hope you enjoy hunting down my diglets, built by Dan Solo. That's very cute. 
He's just got a Santa hat. The Tinglet Canoe, built by uh, Midori Bamboo. Sorry, is it the Tlingit? Uh, our tribe native to Southeast Alaska. That's very cool. Okay, we're, we're getting some proper culture in now. This is like a traditional canoe then, for their tribe. That's really, that's really sweet. Thank you for representing that and sharing it with us. Okay, to little Timmy. What's he got? It's a brand new car! Oh shit! Little Timmy's getting the Tesla. Little Timmy be spoiled. I didn't want a grey color Tesla, I wanted a black one. God, Christmas is ruined! Can you imagine, because you always see like kids like that portrayed in movies where it's like, I didn't want this color Xbox! I hate you! Do you imagine those kids like existing in real life? Just imagine those like you buy like your kid like a 20 grand car and it's like, I didn't want a red car, I wanted a blue one. Like, alright, calm down Veruca Salt. I think at that kid tip point you take the kid to the grocery store and report a lost child. <laughs> Yeah, this kid's missing their parents. Like, God knows I don't want to be their parents. Welcome to the Alpine skyline. This is cute. Are these like little ski lifts or something? No, um, Alpine skyline, is this... This is a hat in time. And you kind of like, you, you shoot between the sails to get to like the different parts. It's like a windmill level. There is like a lava one. That's really cool to see that represented. Yeah, it took me a moment to recognize that one. Oh, it's I Want Die in a, as a present. Merry Christmas from forever. Unfinished I Want Die gift. The only thing I want this year for, cri for Christmas is for the pain to stop. Santa Co. Is Santa in the modern world? Like, like, this is basically like Santa, but he's Jeff Bezos. Like, Santa, but like, you know, he cares about paying his taxes and helping humanity. Uh, it also kind of looks like San Taco, doesn't it? Maybe he's like just, this is a rival chain to Taco Bell. Uh, my name is Claus, King of Eyes. Look at my toys, ye mighty and despair. You'd love to see it. Final Claus from Cookie Clicker. Oh no. Is this an actual, like, entity from Cookie Clicker? This seems rather demonic for a game that's called Cookie Clicker. The Christmas Bomber bringing joy by force. <laughs> oh, Christmas Nuke TM. The only present you'll ever need. Mini Drilling Co. Out of space for oil rigs? We'll fix that. Do you need to de devastate more of the natural beauty of this land? Don't worry, we've got you covered. We'll burn it to the ground. Boris's tree cutting. Customer testimonials. Burn it down, burn it, burn it, burn it. <laughs> Finally, more space to build a crucified Bob Ross. I lived to destroy, but now I can pay someone to do it for me. Burn five trees or eat five trees. Record the sound of the suffering trees. Not an elf union meeting. <laughs> Where we shall put Santa. Uh, this is a very dapper looking snowman, by the way. Like, the mustache on this guy. Absolutely incredible. I love the walking stick. <laughs> His feet are massive. The cool snowman. Laugh need it. <laughs> I got you covered. Oh, the last blockbuster. This actually exists in Alaska. Oh no. It's the only one that's left. Hello, sir. Why are you on like the most western edge of Alaska? Uh, what are you supposed to be? Alaska is the Australia of fish. Well, no, because Australia has, like, a lot of fish that seem like they want to kill you, too. I don't know if we can separate Australia there. This is a giant mushroom. What's going on here? Thought everyone make trees, but I decided, no, I would build a Christmas mushroom. Happy Christmas to everyone reading this, and I hope for a better New Year. Puppet Masters. That's very sweet. <laughs> you got, like, a mushroom which is, like, tinsel on it. And, like, little baubles hanging down. Oh, no! Virginia Virgin moments before death again. It's cyberpunk. Uh, they even got the boots and like my hat represented. The future is now. Is that a gingerbread house? Yes, it is. Oh, that is fantastic looking. Oh, that's just spot on. You even got like the smarties for like little decorations on it. That's so cute. Here's some gingerbread people too. This is a chunky boy. Pictured here are the sign of the Alaskan purchase. 1867. After a loss in the uh, Crimean War, Alexander II of Russia negotiated with U.S. Secretary of State William Seward. Uh, March 30th, 1867, the treaty was ratified. Alaska was sold for $132 million in today's money, or 37 cents per acre. My god. <laughs> Fucking steal. How much does an acre cost in Ireland? Just for comparison. Acre cost in Ireland. 
Uh, average price of an acre, 9,000 euro. <laughs> yeah, you know, if I could pay 37 cents, I'd, I'd much prefer that. <laughs> oh, look at this dude. <laughs> he looks like so shocked he's found a fish. Uh, happy Hanukkah. <laughs> this is really cool to see. Like, what a fucking monument on the land this is. That's class. Well, fair play to this, these people for they're trying to make like a more realistic Christmas tree. Actually representing the arms of it. That's actually going to be quite difficult to do, I imagine. Fair play to you, though. Donut. Made with real human. You know, that's, that's the main concern that I have when I find a new donut place. Fresh human. Okay. Oh, they weren't kidding. Welcome to Tim Hortons. Which bit of Tim you want? Important army person shoot him down. <laughs> Santa, no. Gingerbread snow globe. Let's have a look. Snowman. It's like a modern gingerbread house. Like, damn, this ginger, this gingerbread man is like living in style. This is Christmas tree. Sock, sock. Now, wholesome, wholesomeness aside of the builds. Diglets roasting on an open fire. <laughs> Oh, they've got feet as well. No. <laughs> That's what it looks like under the ground. Yeah, you just have to catch a diglet and cook it, and then you can see its feet. Ah. Uh, why is Santa so buff? Wait, why? Ho, 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 deforestation is good. Oh, no, he's going to take out the Christmas tree over here. Santa has locked on to the children on the naughty list. <laughs> Prepare to be annihilated. <laughs> Before Russia sold Alaska to the USA, it approached a much smaller nation. They offered it for a much lower price than what they charged the USA. Most find this strange, and apart from the friendship the two nations had, there is no other clear reason to why. Liechtenstein has a population too small to sell the land or defend from large empires, so they turned it down. <laughs> What's the population of, like, Liechtenstein? Like, they're tiny. About three? <laughs> it's a bit more than three people. <laughs> like, five. Oh, this Chris. Okay, well, I mean, it's still like an army ship. It's here to, like, wage war on something. But at least it's decorated for the holidays. It looks really nice. This place in the corner has come along quite a bit. It looks incredible. Arctic Library by the Tesco and Hotel team. This is cool. You always love seeing the library builds. This guy on the ladder trying to reach a book that's higher up. That kind of detail is just always insane. Oh, no, this is, um... Oh, what's his name? He's from Shrek 2. What's the big gingerbread man's name? Mongo. <laughs> Not the dewdrop buttons. I can't quite do the voice. Be good, little one. Oh, I love that. <laughs> he looks terrified. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the Christmas ladybug? Like, this dude is so cute. He's just chilling. Oh, this is the village these guys are building. Oh, this looks lovely, guys. It's like a giant Christmas tree. It's just a proper Christmas village. That's so cute. What the fuck happened to the snowman? Oh no! <laughs> oh god, that is incredibly cursed. Did he rip his own head off? Uh, someone has built a very cozy place on the edge here. Welcome to my isolated cabin, you are safe here. 11 out of 10 coziest I've been. Oh, this is lovely. I'm just antisocial, but welcome to my cabin nonetheless. <laughs> it's like, why, why do you live so far away from everyone? What mystery and secrets could you hide? I hate people. Oh, it's night. We get to see the lights. They've come on. Oh, people have actually put stars and that on the Christmas trees too. That looks so pretty. Let's see. Christmas advent calendar. What's in behind each door? Number one, a turtle dove. Wait, due to ban plan and height limit, the 1st of December doesn't exist. Who even needs it? Basically November. Wait, does it start on the 2nd? Who needs the 1st of December? November 31st, more like. Here's the five gold rings. <laughs> to rule them all. Here's the eight maids a leaping. Oh, eight maids a milking. Oh, God. I mean, they represented it, I guess, but... Did they really need to? Twelve drummers drumming in hell. There's <laughs> so many. They looked so panicked. Father, please release me. I have internal pain. Oh, but this reindeer is cute. We got Rudolph. He's just poking his head out. Here's a hot chocolate. The skulls are marshmallows. Do not worry. Uh, I mean, I'm going to be slightly concerned about that one. Sorry, Johnny. I failed you, my son. I'm coming home, Timmy. I've secured the PS5. 
You haven't won yet just yet, you slimy motherfucker. <laughs> this is true to life scenes of acquiring a co new generation console for your kids. I love that build. That that is like incredibly creative. Like very well executed. Oh, here's the realistic Christmas tree too with the branches. They actually did it out. It actually does add a lot to it. It's like so detailed. And they have like little Christmas present huts under the tree. And here's the polar bear. Oh, he's so chunky. He's a wide boy. <laughs> what if we made a religion about this? I agree. Polar bear by God of insanity. Good boy, very chunky. He's incredible. <laughs> I love him. Oh, we also have just like Santa walking through the woods here. And apparently he's got claws for hands. I mean, I guess he's Santa Claus. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone.